A move that's supposed to save Hay River customers money on their power bills may lead to higher bills for everyone in the Northwest Territories. The Northwest Territories Power Corporation is just months away from becoming Hay River's new power distributor, taking over from NECA Power. It was touted as a chance for Hay River customers to save money. But as Luke Carroll reports, it's more complicated than that. The Northwest Territories Power Corporation becoming the distributor for electricity in Hay River is one of the reasons it's applying for rate increases across the territory by about 18 percent. Low water levels, increased diesel prices and inflation are also causing financial difficulties. It will cost NTPC millions to take over distribution in Hay River. $1.5 million will go towards salaries for nine new employees. 500000 toward a bucket truck to work on damaged poles, and around $1.5 million for new power meters for the town, among other expenses. Gordon Van Tegum is the chair of the NWT Public Utilities Board, which gets to decide whether the NTPC rate hike goes ahead. Uh, Van Tegum says these costs are adding to the application for increased rates. The NTPC is over budget on non-operating fuel costs. So these are things like staffing, infrastructure, all operational costs outside of fuel. Um, some of the things that are contributing to the requested increase are increases in the non-fuel operating costs, which are about 9.3 million. Uh, an increase would be only, where well, it would be 6.6 .6 million if the Hay River acquisition was excluded. So it's included in there. A Hay River business owner says if a proposed power rate hike goes into effect, it'll be the end of her business. Just can't afford it. That's all there is to it. Just can't. I'm a print shop. Presses, printers, all this equipment takes a lot of power. Haywood says her current power bill is around $1,000 a month, and any additional costs would be too much to operate. The Power Corporation's application says Hay River customers will still get significantly lower rates even if the rate increase is approved. But we still um, expect to see that the people of Hay River um, will see a drop in the rates they have to pay after the franchise is uh, taken over by NTPC. This is because the cost for residential customers will match what Fort Smith pays, which the application says is much cheaper than Hay River rates. The Public Utilities Board is set to make a decision on the rate application by the end of the year. The NTPC will take over distribution for power in Hay River in March 2025. Luke Carroll, CBC News, Yellowknife.